What's up, Raf gang? Welcome back to another video. Now, this video here is we're going to talk about the new Denon AVR receivers for the late 2022 and 2023. And uh, one of the ones that I'm looking forward to upgrading to in the Raf cave. Uh, as you guys know, my journey of receivers, uh, this area here, I have uh, seven speakers, two Atmos, and four subs. And uh, these new Denon receivers fit the bill very nicely on all aspects, all HDMI, power, features. They're amazing. So, you know, I have the Onkyo 7100 currently. Been a great receiver. Um, and currently now, as I speak, there's a day and a half left on my eBay listing. So if you want to purchase your Onkyo 7100 at a great price, check out my bid right now. Perfect shape, of course. As you know, the RAF cave takes care of my electronics. That being said, guys, let's look at um, some Denon receivers and uh, see what they're all about. Let's... So we're on uh, twice.com here. Just a brief overview of what they're they're coming out with here. So Denon announces multiple 8K AV receivers for home theater. Uh, be joining the brand's catalog, which is Denon's been a fantastic brand for many, many years. I've, I've had so many Denon's throughout my home theater life. Even that giant 5805, I've owned that one. It's crazy. It's a 100-pound receiver. It's amazing at the time. But I love their build quality and their reputation and the quality and the sound and the power and the features. And, you know, the thing is with Denon, you know, they were one of the first receivers to come out with an HDMI 2.1 port. Um, one in and two out, which is crazy at the time. And then they came out with some kind of upgrade box deal and, and they've come out with some a few more ports, and then now finally this this new iteration, all ports are HDMI 2.1, and they have three outputs on some of the newer ones, which is fantastic. Uh, they have their brand new flagship, the A1H, 15 channels of amps. My goodness, a beast. Uh, that's the A series. The X series, which I'm looking at. Uh, they have the, the 4800H 9.4. Now, this year they have four subwoofer outputs. I'm not sure if they're independent. It might be two and two. Uh, but that's pretty crazy. Uh, it's a first for an AVR of this caliber to have four outputs, which is pretty sweet. So it looks like uh, four independent subwoofers. Pretty sweet. Uh, 125 watts a channel. And I think they have seven HDMI 2.1 ports. Now, the AVR 3800H is the one I'm looking at. 105 watts channel, which is plenty for my situation. I have infinity speakers. They're all bookshelves. And that's plenty of power for them. Four subwoofer, output, uh, subwoofer outputs and uh, looks like six HDMI 2.0 ports, three outputs. It's amazing. Then they have the 2800H, 580. And then you have the S-Series 970 and 570. Uh, we'll check out the, uh, this is What Hi-Fi. This one I kind of like too. Uh, they announced five new receivers, 2.1 HDAK. Now Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX enhanced. Oral 3D, right? On most of these receivers, the high end. And for the first time, Sony's 360 reality audio in a receiver. That's pretty amazing. Now they have Odyssey, uh, of course, calibration, but now... Uh, that you're going to have Dirac Live upgradability in the premium receivers, which will probably come out next year. So you can pay a small fee, hopefully small fee, and upgrade to Dirac Live calibration and go beyond what Odyssey can do, I think. I did a Dirac uh, calibration on my Onkyo, and it was, it was awesome. It really nailed the, uh, the different frequencies pretty nicely. Uh, what else we got? Now, we got some pictures of this Beast flagship receiver, the A1, and looks like 15 channels for a 746 system. My goodness. That is uh, crazy. And then you have the um, 4800H, and then my new receiver is the 3800H with six inputs, three outputs. Fantastic. I love they have all the decals in the back of it too. The 
IMAX, IMAX DTS, DTSX, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, and all this Dirac. Oh, this is this is a cool look in the back. I like that one. And then, geez, you go down to the uh, the stripped model 2800H, you lose a lot of features there. It looks like they're split. The HDMI section is split in half here, and only two outputs. So, I mean, the 3800H, I think you're going to get the the starting point of the premium receivers, which I like that one a lot. Very cool. All right, so then we go to the main Denon, the main Denon webpage. Ultimate flexibility, AV power, number one receiver brand. Let's look at the uh, the flagship beast right here, the A1H. Sixty-five hundred dollars, guys. Are you kidding me? That is a massive amount of money for a receiver. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Crazy. 15 channels built in. The ultimate 3D audio experience over 70 pounds. And uh, yeah, that's pretty incredible. Now these all have the variable refresh rate, ALLM, HLG, VRR, 3D pass through, you name it. This These receivers have, have everything. But what I'm looking at, let's let's go back to the receiver that I'm getting. And that's the 3800. Give me the 3800, which is right right here. This beast right here, 1799 or 7 it's 1699 9.4 8K 3D audio. Let me get a let me get a close up of this bad boy. No, nope, I don't want to chat with you. Boom. Look at this beautiful back here. Got coax inputs, optical, got the network. We got the two Bluetooth antennas. We have a, tr a trigger out, which is good. You want to do your separate amp. We have the pre outs, four subs, all nine channels out. You got some analog inputs, AM, FM. You have all your binding post speaker terminals in the back here. Surround back height one, height two. Very nice. Love all these decals in the back for all the compatible features. Now the HDMI ports. All HTCP 2.3, HDMI 2.1, 1 through 6, all assignable. So any one of these inputs can be used on zone 2 or monitor 1. Now monitor 2 I'm curious about. Since I'm a streamer, I use a Elgato HD60S plus something. If I can use monitor 2 directly out to the Elgato for streaming and still keep my zone 2 for my second monitor and my main OLED monitor, all functionality, all perfect harmony with no handshake issues, I will be living in heaven. This is fantastic. What I have to do now to make my Onkyo work is I have various HDMI switchers and splitters uh, because only the first three inputs can be used in zone 2. I can't use the other three. So if I can assign all six uh, connections through zone one and zone two, that would eliminate all those uh, switchers and, and deals. And uh, we'll see. If Denon's video processing HDMI board is capable of doing all three zones separately, uh, I will be freaking just so happy. But yeah, this looks, uh, this looks fantastic. What a great, great back. On this Ankyo here. All right, let's see what's next here. And let me see the front here. All right, the front of it here, guys. Remote control. So we have the main and the zone two on the remote. Pretty standard stuff there. Okay. Now the front here looks like we have. A USB in front, microphone, headphones, 
We have zone two on and off, zone two source. So I'll be using these two buttons a lot. Dimmer, status, and quick select one through four. I like the two knobs. Onkyo didn't have that. Two large knobs, one for selecting the source and one for the volume. Standard, standard configuration, I love it. In command series, 3800H. And then you get the standard uh, microphone there. I don't think they have too many other pictures here. You get the side here, which is fine. Looks nice. Yep, does the thing. We scroll down here. We got all the 3D audio. We got all the 8K. We got the optimization. Odyssey installed direct live up to optional software update. Nine channels of amp at 0 0.08. Total harmonic distortion. It's hoping for a 0 0.05. Okay. 3D audio, we got the IMAX enhanced RO3D, DTSX, and of course, Dolby Atmos. All that looking good. It does have support to up to 11.4, which I like if you want to expand this to uh, more channels. HDR10+, Plus, HLG, HDR, Dolby Vision, and dynamic HDR pass-through. So all the formats right now can go through it. Beautiful. And the gaming features are very important too. The pass through. ALLM, auto low latency, pass through, variable refresh rate, quick flame transport, quick media switching. I love it. No quick media switching, it says. Quick media switching. What does that mean? 3D pass through. Looks good. All that's good. Multi room looks fantastic. Crossovers, base sync, six HDMI ins, three outputs. Yeah, this looks this looks amazing, guys. This hits all the check marks for me. All the check box. Beautiful. Look at all this. Click to learn more. 11.2 channels. Nine channels amps does not mean you need to stop at 11. External two channel application can be assigned front, left, right, or a pair of height. You can set up an 11 channel speaker selection. 714. So you can add another row of Dolby Atmos if you wanted. Awesome. Well, guys, there it is. This is the one I'll be getting. I'm going to sell the Onkyo and go for the X3800H. So be on the lookout for an unboxing video and uh, setup video and all that glorious good stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know about this receiver. Otherwise, uh, yeah, if you want to bid on my old Onkyo 7100, it's on eBay right now at the time of this video. If you watch it in two days, it'll be over. But I appreciate you guys watching this and uh, let me know what your thoughts on Denon are and what are your thoughts on these new receivers. I think they are finally hit that sweet spot of full compatibility for everything right now. Denon has hit it finally all right guys have a great day home theater rules denon's back in the raft cave let's get it raft out see you guys